This video is made possible by the fantastic model shop Sunward Hobbies. Visit www.sunwardhobbies.ca and stay tuned to the end of the video for more information. Hello everybody, Rebels of Cloud 9 here and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be doing a demonstration on this really cool product. This is Mr. Color Replenishing Agent for Mr. Color Paints. Now, you might be like me and you've seen this on the shelves or online and you've gone, what the heck is this for? Well, I had that exact same question until Greg one day told me exactly what this is for and it is super cool and if you use lacquer paints, you're going to want to have this on your bench right away. Like, add this to your shopping cart right now. What this does is this revives your old lacquer paints and brings them back to like brand new. It is super cool. It is really, really, it works incredibly well. I tried it out. I did just a quick sample on one here. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by this stuff. So this is um, 113 or 113 for those of you who are very good with numbers. And it was quite sticky and now it is beautiful and lovely. Now the only problem is they don't really show you how to mix this stuff up. There are directions but they are in Japanese and when I went to translate them it translated really kind of funny. Uh, I had a very very poor translation with this stuff. So in this demonstration I'm going to show you guys how you use this, what it looks like, and I'm even going to go through and show what it's like when you airbrush this stuff. Can you still airbrush with it? You should be able to. I'm going to show you guys all that in this video. So, let me reorient my camera here and I'll get some paints and we can get started. So, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using some Mr. Color lacquer paints. Like I said, this stuff is designed for the Mr. Color lacquer line. And I'm looking at these and Greg also sent me these. He said it's probably one of the last ones in Japan. And I was really excited because these are exclusive Yamato 2199 colors. So it's all the colors I need to paint all of these little ships. And what really sucks is, let me open it up here and I'll show you. These guys have been sitting on the shelves for a while. And unfortunately, they have gone really gummy. So open up this yellow here. Like, it's it's a thick syrupy consistency like I can actually pour it upside down and it's it's hardly it's it's hardly moving you can see it's oh look at that look at that it's like paste that's not paint okay yeah I see all those little strings happening on there Hope the camera's picking that up yeah so I can't actually use this. So some people might say, well, you just, you know, you add a whole bunch of lacquer thinners and away you go. That doesn't really solve the problem because essentially what you're doing is you're adding something that's kind of an accelerant to the paint and it's just going to dry out again later. So yeah, it's not really solving anything. So what the instructions say to do with this stuff, I don't actually know why I put the lid back on, but I did. Um, what the instructions say to do with this stuff is you mix it at about 50-50 ratio. So these are, what are these little things? I know what the Tamiya ones are. 10 milliliter. Okay. So these are, the Mr. Color ones are 10 milliliter. So you need to add about 5. So we add about 50% of the paint back here. And I'm actually just going to eyeball this. This is what I did last time. And I'm doing that for two reasons. Because I'm a rebel and also because math is really hard. Don't judge me. We all struggle differently. Anyways, here we go. So, I'm going to add quite a bit more here. This dropper doesn't exactly pick up a lot of liquids. Let me just see here. Yep, that's about 50% right there. And so what they say to do with this, they say to shake it. They don't actually say to stir it. And I tried stirring it, and it does work when you stir it. But weirdly enough, it does work better when you shake it. So, let's just put the cap back on. 
and there you can see it sloshing around a little bit so let's start shaking it and this might take a while because this is the out of all the lacquer paints that I own these ones are the most far gone um, some of the other ones like uh, this RLM yellow here it was sort of bad it wasn't too bad it was getting to that sticky phase where it was harder to use it so I'm just gonna keep shaking this here until it's done and I'll be back once I have this ready to go okay now I actually shook this for probably about two three maybe four minutes and halfway through I actually thought oh maybe it's not everything's not dislodged so I actually opened it up and I stirred it around a little bit just to get break up everything off of the bottom and found out I needed to add a little bit more of uh, the the replenisher I kept thinking a different name replenisher to the mix here and then I went ahead and shook it for like I said about another two minutes so it doesn't take very long and it feels and it sounds like regular paint so let's open this up Here's the unveiling. Okay, that looks like paint. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. How do you like that? Couldn't even couldn't even open that and and stir it around. No sticky, no sticky lines. This is like normal paint. This is what it should be when you get it fresh out of the bottle like that. That is fantastic, that's so, so cool. But, now we have to go answer the big question, can we still airbrush this? Because if not, it's completely useless. But I'm betting we're gonna be able to. But, I know you guys, and you guys are gonna be like me. You're gonna wanna see it in action. So, I'm gonna go set up my airbrush, I'm gonna throw some of this paint in here, we'll go paint up a spoon and see what it looks like. Okay, so you saw it there for yourselves. This worked really, really, really well. Actually, that's not true. This worked really well, so that this could work really well. This was very impressive to see how quickly. I've only been away from the camera for about 10 minutes from the time I stirred that stuff in here to the time that I went and sprayed it on. And, you know, there's no wait time needed, which is great, you know, I can just sit there and if I open up one of these paints and, oh, it's not good, I can quickly mix this replenisher in and then get back to airbrushing. There's no time for it to settle or vent out or anything like that. It, it's really, really quick how nice that works. And it felt just like I was airbrushing acrylics, which is kind of what you want out of lacquer paints. You want them to brush like acrylics do. And it felt like that. Now, one problem that I think is going to face you if you're using this stuff is what is the right mixture to use? They say use 50% of the paint that's used in here. But if you're like me, this is, I think this was actually the first Mr. Color paint that I ever bought. And I've had it for probably close to six years now or more than that. And it finally was starting to get kind of sticky. It wasn't as bad as, it wasn't near as bad as this, but it was bad enough that I needed to do something about it. And like I said, you thin it with lacquer thinner, a little extra, and that works slash doesn't work. It, it's a temporary duct tape uh, repair sort of thing to actually fixing the solution. And I was actually going to buy another one of these before I found out about this stuff. So 
And that's another thing is I can buy this and I can get it shipped from anywhere else in the world and it may or may not work. So with the with the uh, the ratio of replenishing agent to paint is going to vary. So you're going to have to find that sweet spot calibration of how much do you add versus how much do you need. And that's going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of eyeing. I just want to say if it's something like buying a brand new acrylic like this Tamiya here, this is what I'm shooting for. Like I want it to be this same sort of consistency. So I'll just open this up here, give it a quick little turn. So you can just see how quickly it falls off of the stirring stick here. Like this, this is generally what I'm looking for when I'm doing this sort of thing. Enamels. No. Pure acrylic paints. No. Acrylic latex. No. Acrylic lacquer. Most likely, but you're taking a chance. Lacquer paints? Yes. So to wrap up this video, if you're like me and you like using lacquer paints or you're thinking about getting into using lacquer paints, this product is invaluable to have with your lacquer paint arsenal. If you're using something like Mr. Leveling Thinner or Tamiya Lacquer Thinner with Paint Retarder, you're definitely going to want to add this to your shopping cart right away. Some of the benefits of using lacquers are they, well, they are smelly paints, but they have an incredibly hardy finish on them. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at this. When you get that leveling thinner in there, it's just absolutely beautiful. They're very strong, they're very resilient to weathering and all sorts of stuff like that. You can do a lot with them. And they usually grip and bind to the plastic better than acrylics and enamels do. They're a lot of fun to use, but you got to have the right stuff. And this is definitely some of the stuff that you're going to want to have when you get into it. I'm really impressed and just amazed by how well it it revived this paint as you saw before I'm flipping it upside down and it's staying in the pot and now if I were to do that it would pour all over my paint mat and it's just it's incredible how quickly and how well that worked and I'm, I'm just I'm totally blown away by this now I'm gonna probably get asked is this stuff gonna work with other lacquer paints now I have Tamiya lacquers and I have AK interactive lacquers and I checked all the paints that I have, every single one, and I looked around to see if any of those paints had any kind of the same sticky symptoms as these Mr. Hobby color ones, and none of them did. They're all basically brand new. Now, I will say that this should work well with some of the lacquer acrylics, like Mr. Uh, Hobby Aqueous line and the Tamiya acrylic line. They should work well with that, but I would use caution. This is designed for for lacquers and not for acrylics. So you're taking a chance and a gamble on those. Personally, I would just go buy new acrylics because they're very easy for me to get. These ones are a bit harder for me to get. The other thing is, is this going to work with other lacquer based paints? And the only thing I can say to that is it should. I can't say for certain, but I wouldn't be scared to throw this in with Tamiya lacquers, AK lacquers. I think it would do well with other lacquer based paints. Uh, other acrylic lacquer based paints, that's eh, a bit of a gamble. It's a bit of, it's a bit iffy, but I would I would definitely test it and see what it was like with that. So yeah, like I said, lacquers are great, they're a lot of fun, but they can be frustrating and this takes out a lot of the frustration when you're getting into that. So if you're trying, if you're thinking about getting into lacquer based paints or you want to just see a huge line of lacquers and see what's available, well then you should check out this next little section coming up at the end. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like the product in this video and want to try it for yourself, then visit www.sunwardhobbies.ca. Sunward Hobbies is a Canadian based hobby store with a huge selection of paint and model kits. Their paint selection is fantastic and is one of the best stocked in Canada. You can easily find Tamiya, Mr. Color, AK Interactive, and Citadel just to name a few. So be sure to check out Sunward Hobbies today and follow them on Facebook and Instagram to keep up with the latest products and restock. Links are available in the video description below.